before we commence this drill, we're going to understand what our center line is. With that, we're going to square our hips. Once our hips are nice and square, our two hands are going to come in front of us like we're creating an elbow. Protract your shoulder blades, make two fists. Now you're going to replace one arm, put it back on your face, and this is going to give you a direct line as to where your punch should be. And you'll do the other thing with the other arm. So from here, you create the arrow, make two fists, return one hand, keep that shoulder blade, retract it. Right, we're not punching out here at the moment. We're not punching here. Right, we're not throwing any overhands, uppercuts, hooks. Right, we're just throwing nice straight punches right down the center line. Okay. So once again, if you want to find that, you take your stance. Once you're in your stance, you square your hip, protract your two shoulder blades, creating an arrow, and make two fists, return one hand, extend, return the other hand. And that'll give you an accurate measurement of your distance, uh, with stationary distance that is, and also to what the line of fire should look like on impact. See if we get this one. Maybe this one is one of the better ones to start off with. Yeah. So I'll throw three. Mm -hmm. You'll throw three. Okay. So we'll space the camera first. Okay. And then we'll we'll dial. Three, two, one. To commence this drill. Um, our partner uh, is going to hold accurately. So how he's going to do this. We're going to stand square to each other when my right leg is lined up with his left and my left leg is lined up with his right. Both of our hips are square. But what he's going to do is he's going to step his left foot outside of my right leg and his right leg right in between my legs. And what that does, again, we're creating that little arrow right down the center line. It means that I'm punching directly to that target. Okay. So that was extend my right or my left. From here, from a stationary position, what we are training today is a straight right mechanic and training it to go down the path in the line of fire, but to also uh, return your body correctly, and then once again, to fire your shot and reset uh, with precision and balance and control is what we're really attempting to do here. So again, we take our stance. Now, when we throw our right hand, we're gonna start from the base. Punches come from the bottom up. It's almost like we're pumping water from the base of our foot outside of our arm. Right. So from here, we start by initiating where the toes begin to point towards the target, knee points towards the elbow and fist, hip is inside, and shoulder points towards the arm. The arm is going to shoot straight out, straight like piston, and we carve the knuckles on the face. From there, making sure the opposing hand is up on the head, uh, cheekbone, and that the elbow is in the body. We return the punch on the same line of fire, and from there, once we've returned, we reset our stance. We're going to launch another straight right, come right back, and again, launching a third straight right. Okay, a little more at speed for what the drill is meant to look like. So from here, we'll reset. Okay. From there, I'm going to hold for my partner. So I'm going to take a step out to the outside. I'm going to hold the mitt right beside my face. And he's going to throw three straight rights, ensuring that it resets his stance completely. Go ahead. One. And reset. No step. Do this. Stay stationary. One time. Other angle. So from here, he's going to hold for me. Okay. He stays right there. He ensures that he holds correctly so that I have proper punching mechanics. And I'm learning how to punch across my own body where I'm not losing my own balance. So... Get right here, right in the center, and ish, ish, ish. One time. Okay. <coughs> and I will then hold for my partner. Again. Ensure that every time that you're punching, that when you throw, your hip is being launched, but that you ensure that you reset your hip completely. Alright. But one, my hip resets completely. Two, watching my hip resets completely. Okay. So, thanks for watching. If you want more, tune into our website. 
www.workfault.com or stay tuned for more. That last part, can we?